Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you, something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. Okay, it's going to be a general reading, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. Okay, I'm going to see what's happening for you. Uh, first, I'm just going to look at what might has been happening for you. Um, reoccurring themes, things that might be coming up in the current moments. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, interesting. His knife. This talks about conflict. Okay, show me more. So you were dealing with some sort of conflict. Um Apple. Maybe one more. really determined elixir. Some of you are really determined um, when it comes to your spirituality and your your psychic abilities is what I want to say. Family on the bottom. Some of you might have been dealing with some sort of conflict with a family member, someone in your family, someone in someone else's family, okay. someone's family member. Um, some of you were, there was someone that you, or you are dealing with or you were dealing with in your past was like, they were like a, like a toxic romantic partner. Okay. There could have been something where you felt like being intimate with this person or Maybe it's, it doesn't even have to be romantic, like you felt like kind of speaking with this person or being in this person's energy was toxic for you. Okay, um, some of you recently or in your past have been, you got really serious about cutting out people that were toxic for you. Okay, you really are serious about trusting your intuition. Some of you, you, you don't even let the conflict happen in 3D, you just kind of, you, you follow your intuition and you step away from people's energy when you are told to do so, when you sense that it's time to do so, okay? Some of you um, attended some sort of event and there was a conflict at this event. Or someone was being really passive aggressive. There's some sort of conflict that happens when somebody is drinking with somebody else or somebody goes to some sort of dinner and there's drinks at the dinner and it gets there's it get it gets really passive aggressive, okay? Some of you recently resolved some sort of conflict um, over dinner and drinks or something like that. Some of you recently rekindled something with an old partner. Okay, there was a lot of things that were talked about. Or there was some sort of conflict. You guys talked it out. You found the resolution. Or, yeah, some of you are realizing that someone was really toxic for you and was causing conflict in other areas of your life. Okay. Show me more. What, what else has been going on for Sagittarius? Ooh, healed. That was quick. 
healed. Maybe something healed quick. Maybe <laughs> some sort of there's some sort of resolution for something quick. Maybe that's a message for some of you. Okay. Something could have just been talked about or someone just needed to communicate something. Okay. All right. That's a lot, but we'll we'll take it. We have dream lifestyle. Wow, some of you cut someone out or you separated from someone and it's like your whole life changes. Okay, we have Pisces. Might be an important sign for you. you might be dealing with a Pisces loss. And trust your feelings. Yeah, there might be some people where it's hard for you to separate from them. Wolf and sheep's clothing on the bottom. Some of you got a really bad vibe from someone. And you separated yourself from them. Okay. Or you're getting the bad vibes from them right now. Alright, what else do we have for Sagittarius? Throat chakra. Yeah, there's something where someone needed to just communicate something. Some of you, there was a loss in the family and there's a lot of conflict, okay? Oh, that's way too many. That's way too many. I'm not even going to look at them. <laughs> Lust. Ooh, some of you are daydreaming a lot about the life that you're trying to create. Jupiter sign coming out right after Pisces, okay? Some of you might have Jupiter and Pisces, or set, you might have Sagittarius, Jupiter. Um, uh, Jupiter rules is ruled by, no, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Cleanse coming out after loss. Yeah, okay. So there's something with people that you've separated from in your past, okay? These people um, that you felt like you needed to separate from, you felt like they were unhealthy for you, there was some sort of toxicity in the environment or in their, from whatever you were, um, whatever intuitive um, things you were getting from these people that you decided to separate from. Um, there might be certain items that you have of theirs or gifts or things like that you might want to cleanse them or donate them if you can or if there's certain people that you separated from or you, you might just want to cleanse them you don't have to get rid of them but you might want to cleanse them and um, I don't know cleanse the energy of something from someone that you separated from this also could be like a romantic partner too of course Some of you, there was someone in the family that was lost. This already happened. Um, you want to cleanse their home. Okay, cleanse their home. Or they're asking you to cleanse their home. Okay. Wow, of course, <laughs> we got loss and gain in the same ring. This is three. I'll put them. I'm gonna put them back, um, but I'll look at them. We have gain, birth. Some people 
I've been kind of picking up on this message a lot. Some people are going to be giving birth to their reincarnated, reincarnated ancestors. And then we have envy and jealous. Show me more. Just one more card for Sagittarius right now, please. Please and thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Heart chakra. Coming out after trust your feelings. Ah, throat chakra here, heart chakra here, okay? Your heart and throat chakra are very balanced. Okay, you healed something with your throat chakra. Trust your feelings. And we have third eye chakra on the bottom. Yeah, your chakras are like lighting, lighting up right now. Okay, you might be working with them often. Um, Alright, let's see what's happening for you that you don't expect. But your awareness of it ooh, would benefit you. I just want to see a little bit of the card so I can still look at them. Okay. Alrighty. very not happy that you walked away from them. These could be people from your like way past. for Sagittarius. What's happening for them that they don't expect, but their awareness of it would benefit them. Oh my god, <laughs> so many, oh, oh my gosh, okay, I'm not keeping it. So many almost jumpers, we have ten of swords. It's, this is coming out because someone feels like backstabbed that you separated from them. Some of you, they, this is what they did to you. They, they backstabbed you, the world. This is an inevitable change is what I'm getting. I don't want to talk about these people that are upset that Sagittarius has separated. I want to talk about Sagittarius, what they can expect for their highest good. <laughs> okay? What do we have for Sagittarius? What's the best thing for them to be made aware of? Knight of Swords. Okay, some of you, this, this conflict might not be fully over. And you're being asked to stick up for yourself. Okay. There could be something where you might want to, like, like, really connect with how you truly feel so that you're able to express how you truly feel in um, a more grounded manner rather than, like, kind of all over the place, all over the place. The Knight of Swords can kind of mean that um, there's some like sporadic, like it's not, it hasn't been thought through, like communication, especially with the knife card here, which um, indicates conflict. Um, but also, I feel like some of you know that you're being asked to very diligently. Um, like cut people off when you're feeling as though it's affecting your energy in a negative way or in it like there's some toxicity in the environment trust your feelings and trust your intuition with these things I feel like your radar for people has been um, 
maybe like advanced or retuned. So now like you might be realizing um, there's people in the environment that there's something that they're passive they're passive aggressive or they're toxic in some way because elixir talks about toxicity. There's conflict with toxic people. Some of you are cutting out um, toxic foods. Like you're getting really serious about um, what you consume. Okay, show me more. The Sagittarius, please. The artist. Wow, coming out after dream, lifestyle, and lust. You're creating your life right now. Some of you are actually like bringing in your dream life, dream lifestyle, dream life. Some of you are very artistic. This is the artist, obviously. But some of you like have something that you create. Some of you are actors, actresses. I'm being reminded of Bob Ross with this card right now. Some of you are painting. Learning to paint. Some of you are visualizing this. You're like visualizing like painting in your gorgeous backyard or something like that. Like you're doing a lot of visualizing like maybe you're trying to get serious about what you do want. Maybe this is something that you're going to be doing. Yeah, like some of you are realizing that you want to get serious about what you want. Maybe some of you are realizing you don't even know. Like what's what's the what are the exact things that like what's going to like help me flourish what kind of environment is going to support me what kind of life do I want to live what kind of life is going to bring me fulfillment and joy okay there's something some of you there's something with mushrooms okay there might be something with that going on that's not for all of you obviously I'm not saying anything bad about it I'm just saying some of you are like microdosing or something like that. I can't remember what I was about to say. Alright, let's just get more. Some of you are like, you really opened up your third eye. Yeah, look at that, the Empress. After Pisces and Jupiter sign. Yeah, some of you are really connecting deeper into this like really um, beautiful divine feminine energy. Divine Feminine Power, High Priestess on the bottom, Intuition on point right now. You are, like, if you, like, you're getting really serious about your spirituality is what I'm getting from this. Your manifesting abilities, but, like, you're kind of like, I'm feeling like you're fixing up, like, your life. You're fixing up your environment, what you do. You're making, you're romanticizing things, okay, like, in a good way. Yeah, we got lust here. You're romanticizing things, daydreaming. Things smell nice, things are clean, like... Things are becoming more beautiful around you, okay? Some of you... <laughs> some of you are, um... 
doing something with mushrooms or some sort of sort of herb or yeah maybe some sort of herb maybe you're just smoking weed but like I don't know you're there's something you're doing that's like amping up your visualization and not all of you are utilizing something like that but some of you might be utilizing some sort of sounds or instruments or you're meditating a lot <laughs> Some of you are, um, you're a very powerful journaler. Like, the things you write come to fruition. Show me more. Oh, but yeah, there's some sort of abundance coming in for you as well, I would like to say, um, with the Empress here. Things are just more abundant around you. Things are becoming more beautiful. Things are, like, th your, your life is going to glow up. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, so we have the star kind of flipping around in the deck here, but I'm going to put it back. Um... Which is, you know, obviously indicating healing here. But we have the Seven of Cups. Some of you, there's like a lot, I don't know, there's some sort of loss. There might be someone that you are struggling with separating from, or you're confused about separating from. Some of you, the reaction that people gave you when you separated from them confused you, or made you feel like, oh, am I making the wrong decision? If there's some, some sort of confusion for you coming up, then cleanse your environment. Okay, some of you... Some of you are learning new, um, like, manifestation techniques, um, new spells, new versions of energy work. There might be a lot of information, okay, um, you might be unsure of what to work with, what, it, there's even, like, there's conflicting beliefs, you know, so it's like, when you get deeper and deeper into, um, different, like, areas of spirituality and energy work and all that, like, it can, it can get confusing, like, what's right and what's wrong. But it's important to follow your intuition and what feels right to you. Okay, and also there's something where like you might not, you're like, oh, am I doing this right? Um, the thing is like if it feels right, like that's the most important part is like resonating with what you're doing. So like, because that's what's going to actually bring results is really resonating, believing in what you're doing. If you don't believe in it, if you don't resonate with it, you might want to switch it up or expand your knowledge or look into different um, techniques or something. I'm not sure who this advice is for, but there's some, there might be something, confusion or fear coming up. Someone's like scared they're going to get some sort of karma. Or it's like something's trying to make you fearful. Cleanse. Cleanse. Um, okay, I think that's enough on that. One more. For Sagittarius here. Vamping up your life is what I just heard. Damn. Ace of Pentacles. You're, you're creating something totally new for yourself and your physical reality is changing or you're getting a new beginning in your physical reality, a new start in your physical reality. Things feel new in your physical environment and reality. That's what um, Ace of Pentacles always says to me, that it's something physical, something physically new in the environment. There's going to be people who try to bring up conflicts with you, though, or there's something... Um, 
like with the envy and jealous card that came out earlier, there's something where people are, you might be separating from certain people, you might be happy, they may not be happy for you, there might be something like that coming up. Um, also, you might be, um, there might be stuff like different tests with your ego coming up and like self-doubts. All right. Yeah, so you, um, there might be something with quantum jumping with you. You might be working um, in that arena of things. You might have just quantum jumped in general or you're doing some specific technique for it. But look at this. There's something where there's some sort of like fear, like am I doing this right or am I doing the right thing or something like that? You are. Because like look how they're both like in the same like position. The Seven of Cups talks about confusion and like there's a mask. It's like someone's wondering like am I doing this right or is this wrong? Is this going to bring me abundance or is it going to bring me like grief? Someone might even, you might even think like you did something wrong and then something happened. Release all of that. That's all just fear. Release all of that. Your intuition's right. Trust, trust your feelings, like the card said. Okay. One, uh, not one more. <laughs> Let's get a few messages from this deck for Sagittarius. Um, and then I'll end the reading. What's the best thing for Sagittarius to do right now? Ego destruction. You are shedding your ego. A new version of you is being created. Absolutely. Some of you are getting so serious about cutting out like toxic things from your environment. Acceptance. Learn to love and accept yourself for who you are at this moment. And one more. Sagittarius. Best thing for Sagittarius to hear right now. Ooh. I guess there's two. Inner wisdom. There's a wisdom deep within your soul. Trust the feelings you get. Yes. Trust the feelings you get. It's coming up twice. Trust your feelings comes up has come up twice in two different decks. And then we have compassion. Have compassion for yourself and those around you. Honor your sensitivity. Beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you so very much for joining me. I wish you the best of luck as you move through this. Um, if it resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity. If you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. And yeah, thank you again. Lots and lots of love. Bye.